huge thanks for 400 subscribers and in this video I'm going to celebrate it by showcasing my entire cube collection but I'm going to be a bit different and sort it out by brand so like starting with the brands where I only have one cube like I have Ishin so this is the Ishin 4 um, yep, I kind of okay I will especially just skip through 4x4s because my 300 subscriber video is literally showing my all my 4x4s VCube 6 I mean it does have a but negative reputation when like throughout its history but it, it definitely does make a significant contribution as the first the first ever cube to exceed 5x5 it was, it was thought to be impossible to have more than 5 layers for quite a long time it's really a classic uh, I would say it actually isn't that far behind a modern 3x3 it only lacks reverse corner cutting and like meaning it needs a little bit of force and it does pop a bit, but I think if you were to magnetize the Zanzi and maybe flop and mod it just slightly, it might contest against a modern 3x3. Light as 4x4, again, this, this, this is a cube that I designed and 3D printed. Uh, Vogue 5, despite Chi being one of the brands that produce the best cubes out there, it's actually my third favorite brand, like, I only have one Chi cube. And the reason for that is, usually when Chi makes a cube, Moi also makes a cube at the same time, like, Weichuang GTS and Wu Shuang. Aoshu GTS and Shadow and like so on and like 100% of the time I preferred the more EQ and I didn't buy the Chi so like the one exception was the Vogue 5 because it came out some time after the Ultron GTS and it was quite a significant improvement over the GTS and the Ultron WR didn't exist back then so yeah this was my main for at least some time now with two cubes this is Yixing so Yixing Red 6x6 so one interesting thing about this cube is that people like to switch the springs for the 5x5 springs but I went a step further and made, did the 9 hole mod because I, at first I, that's partly because I, like I felt that the reverse corner cutting wasn't enough but actually even earlier than that I was kind of designing the Elias 6x6 the, the idea to, of what I wanted that cube to look like already came quite early on and I wanted that cube to have 9 holes so like this was one of the first times I tried to actually use the 9 hole Huanglong 9x9 uh, best cube on the market when it first came out but I'm not that big of a 9x9 solver as compared to 8x8 and in general I'm not as big as a odd cube solver as compared to even cubes so I haven't really bothered to upgrade my 9x9 and even though the MF9 is out now I'm this is technically still my main but I don't I hardly even play with a 9x9 with 3 cubes this is YJ and yeah, I started with the Quansu and the Yisu V2M. Uh, probably mentioned this in my 300 subscriber video already, but the Quansu is flowing modded. The reason why it has a Sun Huan logo on it is because I used to have a Sun Huan mask, but I tried to mod it in the 3x3x2 and the, the mod failed, so I, I just saved what I could from the cube, including the springs, the core and all these, and the logo was one of the things I tried to save, and I just had to stick it somewhere. MGC6, this one currently contesting with my Aoshi GTS for the position as 6x6 main but it hasn't fully taken over yet. I, I still feel that I can use either cube and 6 cubes. The reason why Shengshu has so many compared to the rest is because it's, it has just been around longer and yeah so generally most of these cubes are older stuff. So starting with the 2x2, two two, this one is special because Matt Spock visited Singapore in 2016. This one Shengshu Fang Yan 3x3. It's fairly more recent than the rest. This one came out in 2016 and alongside, I think it was some time after the Weilong GTS 1 hit the market and it felt like an in-between of the ESL and the Weilong GTS 1 which was really good for that time and yeah, I, I would say this is actually the best budget cube in, in, the, in August 2016 around that period which this is what I got and like it actually served as my main for some time. Next Shang Shou 4x4, Florian Constant modded. Like I, I would say that during the time period where we Florian mod, the cubes like it really felt like the cube had a personal touch because like you really put in the effort to mod it and it, the cube really felt like it's your effort your work one is also another more fairly recent cube this is the shengshou linglong like 5x5 so it's, it's the mini 5x5 that's the size of a 3x3 so you can size compare like that and i actually bought it for the sole purpose of modding it into a 3 x 3 5 so that's why it's a 3 x 3 5 right now and Lastly, the Shengshou 8. This one just another. It was the only 8x8 you could get at the time, so. It's just another cube which. Yeah, it's, I bought it, it served its purpose, and now it's retired. Okay, 
Okay, so finally the one brand which I bought more cubes from than all the other brands combined, none other than Moi. So this is the Meiying 3x3 from Kong's Design or Yang Chong Se Ji. It served as my 3x3 main for a very long time un until after it passed its prime, I like decided to give it a second life as a 3x2 and I'll say that even though it's made from a like worn out Meiying, it's still better than what the market has to offer for it. Old Batch Mini Aosu. Uh, Hua Trang. This one, I would say this is my favorite cube in terms of mechanism and cube design, not in terms of solving speed. Because again, technology and improvement. But then still, like, what's so special about this cube? It's, it's just really stable for like during it was by far the most stable cube during its time period, and I would say the stability is still somewhat comparable to a modern five x five. And like the mechanism was also different. It has a, it has a internal three x three inside its structure. Like also inside the external 5x5 structure and it it made the cube like a lot more stable and in fact the entire Light S series is based on this idea Oh sure, this one also again another best cube for its time that got out the MF4S this one this cube wasn't particularly great so yeah I don't really have that much to say Florian Magnetic Po Trunk that is quite fast I, the Po Trunk was actually slow out of the box but after breaking it in like this one was super broken in this is like really fast like of course not as fast as modern day but it's, it was, it's really nice and it, this cube actually saved me once because I was having low sugar at that time and my hands were like shaking and I couldn't control my Wei Chuang. It, it was too fast for me and I had this cube lying in my bag and I, could, I went to use it for like three, the, the last three solves out of the five. Uh, MF5S, this one is a modded Hua Chuang. Two feature cubes which I won for my giveaway but I never actually used them. This was the time where Qi released the Wu Chie, Wu Shuang, Wu Hua, and Wu Ji, and I decided to buy all the Moi counterparts instead because I just like them better. So this is the new batch mini also. It was actually faster than the Wu Chie, and also at the time, in fact, all along I I I, I was trying to get smaller four x four. So this was basically getting the mini Wu Chie early. Wei Chong GTS. This is a very long time serving main of mine. I used it even after the Ultron GTS came out. Wei Shu GTS. This one. Some people may complain about it being slow at first. I actually sped this cube up using a spring swap. And like, yeah, it's definitely a lot better afterwards. The best thing about this cube is it's just really stable and really reliable. MS7S, even more stable and reliable and it's also really smooth, really fast. I think the only thing this lacks is reverse corner cutting. But uh, for, for that time, I think this was my go-to 7x7. So 2016 was like a golden year with so many cubes. And then 2017, not much came out. So yeah, this is just the Aosu GTS one, which dropped my average by one second compared to my previous main. So it was a main for a while. And then finally this, I would say this would probably be my modern day mains with Tang Po, which is here for 2 to 7 relay. Uh, MF3 RS2, this one very long standing main of mine. And yeah, even after all the modern day flagships that cost multiple times its price, I, I actually haven't tried a cube that made me want to switch out from this. Meilong 4M, this is like the one exception in my line of means because everything here is so smooth and fast. This one is it's still a very fast cube but it's crunchy and it feels more chewy than more yi but I mean for its turn style and for the nature of how 4x4 works, I can use a lot of like home grip, DD prime, back grips kind of like and I can do a lot of this crazy stuff on the Meilong 4 that like I'll try on the WRM, this is the cube that I would that I use to cross the 120 barrier. So with this cube, I think I can average 119. I'll shoot GTS older than the MGC6, although it's like the two cubes are plus and minus compared to each other with MGC6 having the stability, but this one having the plastic quality. And yeah. Alpha GTS, I handpicked this over the Spark and the Haze in 2019, and I still haven't regretted it at all. This is still really smooth, solid. And it was, I think it, it was actually, in my opinion, the best n by n cube ever made in, at one point in time. But I think now that title goes to the Outrong WR. And lastly, MF8. This one has been spring swap with the Yixing Unicorn King 4x4 spring.